Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get started. In today's video you will find out how the price of IOTA has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, Stochastic RSI and MACD are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the IOTA hourly time frame, the price dipped down with around 5.4% but then came quickly up again in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 82.5 cents. Jumping to the hourly simple moving averages, the current price is above all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bullish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 100 SMA could hold support or the price will break it to the downside below the current price of around 81.6 cents. Pointedly, the current price is above the 200 SMA, which is perceived as a strong support. Nevertheless, if there were to be a decisive downward dip, it will signal a possible big move down. However, the shorter time frames are not very accurate and the bigger time intervals like the daily should also be considered for longer price development. Jumping to the hourly stochastic RSI, there are no signs of the stochastic RSI being oversold or overbought at this time but because the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, we can deduce that the trend is currently on the up. Jumping to the hourly MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. As we can see from the MACD histogram, the momentum is indecisive at this moment. This means that we can expect for the price to remain the same for some time and you should wait and for the MACD line to cross the signal line. This will mean it's bearish. Jumping to the three hourly simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 100 and the 200 SMA. If the price bounces off the 100 SMA which is currently at 80.5 cents it could be seen as a support and the 200 SMA that is at 94.2 cents could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Moving to the three hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the higher region, which means that the price is getting overbought and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. Nevertheless, the K line has yet to cross the D line, so it's recommended that you wait and see if the trend does in fact go down. Jumping to the 3 hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. Looking at the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is strong at the moment and we can expect the price to continue growing or maybe at least remaining the same for some time. Moving to the daily simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is below all of the simple moving averages, which looks bearish and you should keep an eye on the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will peak above the current price which is around 90.8 cents. Looking at the daily stochastic RSI, there are no signs of the stochastic RSI being oversold or overbought at this time, but the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, which means the current trend is to the upside. Jumping to the daily MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. Looking at the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is strong at the moment and we can expect the price to continue growing or maybe at least remaining the same for some time. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time.